Heading back to the main menu of Cablecast, let's go to Location Settings to configure the specific inputs and outputs of this system. From the Shows tab, we'll click on Formats and enter the types of media we're going to use. As you can see, some formats have already been specified. You can delete existing formats or add new ones. Let's click on New and type in QuickTime. The primitive format will be Digital File. So the basic concept is to name a specific format and link it to a raw format. DVCAM and other professional tape decks that use timecode would use the timecode tape primitive format. Live feeds, whether the source is coming from a satellite receiver, demodulator, or video signal from the next room, will use the live primitive format. We will link these formats to our devices a little later. Click Save after you've entered all of your station's formats. Click on Categories and select Default Category. Rename it to your first category. Click New and enter as many categories as you think your channel will have. You can always revisit this to add new categories. If you have a VOD, you can select a preset transcode quality. Any format that might naturally have a lot of action and camera movement, like sports, would use the high quality, whereas a meeting that consists of static camera shots and not a lot of movement from the subjects could use the low quality setting. Click Save when you're done. Dispositions are used when shows have been retired or sent back or destroyed. You can add as many dispositions as you'd like. Just click New and give it a short description like Archive Shelf or Return to Producer. If Allow Assignment is not checked, the show won't be available to schedule. This is useful for preventing users from scheduling a program you no longer physically have. If you would like to take a show out of circulation and have archived it, you can select Allow Assignment in case someone requests it to be replayed in a couple years. Click Save after creating your dispositions. You can create up to eight custom fields to appear in your show records. This will allow you to save any information that is not already contained in the show record. Examples might be crew names, synopsis, and encoding information. The field type will determine how big the text box will be. Click Save.